Hi, this is Francisco, Tango India 2, Lima X-Ray, and um, welcome to my channel. Here I'm going to present um, a program that I did in Spanish, but I decided to do an English version um, just to um, show how to modify a Cobra 138XRL to from um, 40 to 400 channels so this is what I'm gonna show here and I hope you enjoy this um, program and uh, provide feedback and any comment that you want okay so let's start um, let me say that uh, the ideas that I'm presenting here um, are uh, presented thinking that um, this is for non-commercial use and I do apologize for the uh, Spanish uh, words in these slides, but I'm going to try to explain, so you don't worry about that, because I'm going to explain what exactly that means. Um, essentially, the idea is, as I was saying, that this is um, thought for uh, non-commercial use, um, and I'm expecting that um, you recognize all the work that uh, we have been done and all the people that has been uh, um, related to this project, uh, writing uh, part of the routines that I use, as I mentioned, that you recognize that when you use this information in a future projects. Okay, um, that said, then let's start by saying that uh, this is a, a, a fre frequency uh, synthesizer, a PLL. This is the base component that controls the frequency in any uh, modern radio and um, I'm gonna mention this uh, uh, briefly because it's absolutely needed to understand the the nature of the project that I'm doing here the the nature of the modification so let me explain how a, a, a frequency synthesizer work and, and uh, I hope that um, that um, uh, help you to understand what I'm doing so Essentially, uh, a frequency th synthesizer is just uh, a BCO, which is an oscillator that is controlled by a voltage, right? This voltage can go up or can go down. It's a DC voltage, right? Um, it's, it's an analog voltage that goes up or go down. So if the frequency, if, if, if the voltage, this is the control voltage, if, if the control voltage goes up, the frequency goes down. If the control voltage goes down, the frequency the frequency goes up, right? Right? Is the effect is reverse? Increasing the voltage decrease the the frequency. Decreasing the voltage increase the frequency. Right? Is reverse? Is opposite? Right? Okay. So um, then that frequency. Let's say for instance, this is the frequency for channel one. <clears throat> the CV channel 1, 26965 MHz. So that frequency is feedback to a divider. That divider is going to divide by uh, a number that you can program with uh, deep switches, with a microprocessor, with a rotary switch in front of the radio, which is normally the case, um, or any other uh, uh, mean, right? So that, that frequency is divided by a number that I call N total. Normally, that number is a series of ones and zeros. It's a digital word that you program here to tell the uh, divider what number or which number has to be used, right? <coughs> so, for instance, if you provide here uh, uh, a digital uh, 5393, it will divide by 5393, right? So, if you divide 26965 by uh, 5393, it will give you 5 kilohertz. 5 kilohertz, right? It's just uh, the dividing the frequency. So we compare that 5 kilohertz against another 5 kilohertz that you get from a uh, crystal oscillator that is not shown here for simplicity. Um, and this is just, uh, you can see, this is a device that has two inputs and one output. These two inputs are frequencies, right? You get here one frequency and you get here another frequency. And the output is just a voltage. It's a DC voltage. So essentially, this is called a phase comparator. So um, uh, what, what this does uh, is, is uh, um, 
comparing the frequency that you have in this input to the frequency that you have in this input. And the reason I went uh, one step further is because I, I wanted to make sure the name in English for that component is a phase detector. But it's comparing, right? It's comparing. The phase detector or phase comparator, wh whatever you want to call this uh, phase detector, right? For instance, uh, is comparing 5 kilohertz against 5 kilohertz, right? And the output is a voltage. It's a voltage that is proportional to the difference in frequency. So for instance, if this frequency it, it will never change. Why? Because it's coming from a crystal. It's a crystal oscillator here. And then this frequency will never change. But this frequency here is going to change. Why it's going to change? It's going to change because it's coming from a, a, a voltage control oscillator. And the, the, the oscillator is just a, a coil with a, with a, with a capacitor um, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a diode that changes the capacitor, uh, uh, the, the capacitance, uh, when you change the voltage, right? So this oscillator change the, uh, the frequency in, 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 a, in a matter of time because is it gets hot uh, because of the temperature because of the uh, 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 many many things inside the oscillator change right with the time especially the temperature and the temperature is affecting the capacity of the components etc so this is not very stable so this uh, 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 some of you that has been uh, working with uh, high frequency or, or, or VHF frequency oscillator or, or, or higher, you, you know that that is not very stable. The higher the frequency is less stable. That means that, for instance, you you, you do a, an oscillator in, in, in 144 megahertz and that will be stable just for a couple of uh, minutes, let's say, and then after that it's going to change up or down. It's going to change the frequency with the time. It's not stable. Well, um, this uh, block here is making this very stable. Why? Because it's comparing this frequency after dividing that frequency is comparing to a, a very stable frequency uh, coming from a crystal, from an oscillator, and then a crystal oscillator. And then it, this, this uh, uh, phase detector is providing a DC voltage that is uh, 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 proportional to the error between, between these two frequencies. So if this frequency goes up, if this frequency goes up, the voltage is going to go down. This is just a, a low pass filter. So if the voltage goes down, what happens to the frequency? Goes up and then come back to uh, 5 kilohertz th at this point. But if the opposite happens, if this frequency uh, goes down, then the voltage here is going to go up because there is a difference between these two. If the voltage goes up, then the, the BCO is going to go down and then it's going to come back to 5 kilohertz. So this, this feedback is a way to uh, make sure that this voltage control oscillator is going to be very close to the uh, uh, stability of the crystal oscillator, which is the reference, right? So we can say that the total, uh, n total, that I call n total, is um, the BCO frequency divided by 5. Why by 5? Because we want 5 kilohertz, because we have here 5 kilohertz. So th that means 26965 uh, divided by 5, is this is 5393. So this is the, the number that we have to put here, right? In other words, when total n total is uh, 5393, the output frequency will be uh, this one, 26. 965 megahertz, the frequency of channel 1. In other words, we can say that the output frequency is n total by 5 kilohertz, right? So what happens if this uh, number 5393 goes up in 1, right? For instance, if n total is uh, 5394, then the frequency will be 5394 by uh, 5 and that is 26970 you you see that increasing this number in 1 
will increase the output in 5 kilohertz. Why? Because when you change this uh, total n total or uh, total n, uh, the frequency, the output frequency will change. Then the error will 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 change the voltage here, right? The error between these two, and that that voltage will change the VCO to any frequency that makes this be five kilohertz compared to five kilohertz. And when that number is five three nine three, this is 26965 but when that number is 5394 that number is 56970 so in other words changing this number this n total will change the frequency increasing one that number will increase by this reference so we call this reference the uh, step or the channel step in other words, if this uh, reference is 5 kHz, increasing this by 1, this n number by 1, you will increase the output by 5 kHz, or uh, in other words, the reference, or you will decrease the, 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 the output frequency by, by, by 5 kHz, increasing or decreasing this number by 1. Okay? Perfect. So this is how uh, uh, PLL works. It's a way to make a voltage control oscillator very stable, as stable as, a re as the reference is. And the reference normally is a crystal oscillator, which is very, very stable for our uh, purposes. OK? All right. So here are some examples of um, uh, uh, commercial uh, PLL uh, um, that you can find in all CB radios. Uh, for instance, in the um, uh, Cobra 140, 142, 148, Unident Grand, and some Midland and Galaxy radios, you can find. Th this is uh, uh, these are all radios from um, 70s um, um, or, or or early 80s. This um, these radios use uh, uh, the MB8719, and you can see it's basically the same uh, configuration that I, I'm describing here. So you have uh, here uh, uh, some gates, digital gates, that uh, can be used for um, uh, generate the, uh, the, uh, the, the crystal oscillator right and then you have a reference divide in this case um, in this case this reference device is uh, used to device the um, um, uh, is used to divide the crystal oscillator so for instance if you use here uh, 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 a 10 um, dot uh, 240 right uh, megahertz that is a, 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 a regular crystal that you can find in any CB radio, uh, 10 dot uh, 240 uh, megahertz. Uh, if you divide that by 1024, you will get here 10 kilohertz, right? So the step in this one will be 10 kilohertz. And if you compare that, uh, so you have the output that combined at the low pass filter will give you a DC voltage. This is the phase detector, and then you feedback that to the uh, frequency input here and divide by the end counter. And then you get, um, you program these inputs here from 0 to 6, and you, you will define the, 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 the number n that you divide to get here uh, the same uh, frequency that is in this other side. So this is the way that a CV uh, controls the frequency, uh, a phase lock loop or a frequency synthesizer. Okay, right. So this is another example. This is a UPD 858C, and this one is the one I'm gonna work on. Uh, this one is used in 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 all Cobras 139X LR, um, 138X uh, LR, uh, also in some Midland, some Uniden, some President, some Realistic, uh, uh, the Realistic TRC for. Uh, five seven uh, the T Berry and the Robin radio CV radio. This is uh, as I mentioned. This is our all uh, CV radios. <clears throat> um, but um, the idea behind this is that you can understand how a PLL works and how you can modify a PLL uh, uh, 
to get different frequencies, right? Um, so, um, and let me mention here that when I'm when I'm saying modifying, uh, you need to understand that m modifying a, a, a radio could, uh, in some countries, goes into an illegal um, action. So this this program is understood to show you how a PLL works and um, but you need to be careful don't do any modification that is not allowed in your country right because you can get in legal troubles and uh, again uh, um, <clears throat> I show this only for the purpose of education not to promote the uh, illegal activity on the CB radios okay with that understood, that clarify and that said, let's continue. So you can see the 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 UPD 858C has the same the same basic uh, configuration. It has a, a reference divider, right? Like like the previous one. Uh, this one, for instance, is only divided by 10, uh, 24. But this one is is something that you can select between uh, two numbers you can you can uh, do something here to to define this number but there is only two options uh, not not like this one that you have only one option 10 24 you can you can divide by 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 20, 10 24 but also you can divide by another number and then the, the, it has a phase detector and uh, the output that combine into a into the uh, low pass filter is going to give you a voltage that controls the VCO and then the feedback that comes in here and then th th that you divide that by 10 lines you can see 10 lines here from P0 to P9 right compare that to the previous one that has only 7 control lines this one has um, 10 10 control lines which is that means that can give you more more channels right now uh, let me tell you that um, the, uh, the, uh, the the radio that I'm proposing to modify is the uh, 138 uh, uh, XLR and that radio use the uh, 858 PLL this one that I'm describing here so you can you can see that the control lines are from P0 to P9 right and there is a, a 10 uh, dot uh, 240 megahertz right 10 megahertz 10 240 um, that um, is used uh, here divided by uh, 10 24 to provide here 10 kilohertz and then you will define the frequency that divided by this number will give you 10 kilohertz here as well so this is what is inside this one the, the 138 right so you have a BCO right uh, I'm not I'm not uh, showing here the low pass filter for simplicity again but um, this is the the block diagram inside the radio right and what what this thing does is you have the PLL right and then the PLL is comparing inside these two frequencies after the that frequencies has been divided in this case in this case by the um, by the uh, word that you define here by the number that you define here and compared to the um, 10 kilohertz that you get after dividing uh, 10 dot 240 megahertz um, divided by 10 uh, 24 so you will compare this uh, uh, number, uh, th this frequency divided by this number against 10 kilohertz. So, w w based on what I just mentioned, the uh, the steps, the the channels will be 10 kilohertz. Changing this number by one will will increase or decrease the frequency, the output frequency of this BCO by 10 kilohertz. Right? Okay. So in this case. Um, the BCO is not feedback directly to the PLL, but uh, is mixed against uh, an oscillator that is multiplied by three. So uh, this oscillator is uh, 11, 28, 58, 11, 28, 42, 11, 28, 50, depending if you're going to run 
AM, LSB, or USB, right? So you let's say you're gonna you're gonna transmit in um, in uh, AM in, uh, in channel one, right? Channel one. We want channel one. This is the antenna. So you want twenty six nine six five. So you you uh, change. Uh, the, the switch to AM automatically you will run with this crystal this crystal will give you 11 28 50 that multiply by 3 because there is a there is a multiplier it's a it's a transistor that that will multiply this frequency by 3 you will get uh, 33 855 megahertz and you will mix this w against this so the mix of these two signals will give you the higher less the, the 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 smaller and then you will get the 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 difference here <coughs> which is uh, 0 0.91 then you divide that by a number here and that will give you inside 10 kilohertz and that's the frequency this one is going to run so let's say 34765 that is mixed against um, 7.8 coming from a uh, crystal and that will give you the mix of these two. In other words, it will be the higher, less the the smaller. That will give you 26965, and that is how you transmit. When you are receiving uh, this one, doesn't work, and you just uh, in this mixer you um, uh, uh, minus the higher frequency, minus the, the the incoming frequency from the antenna, and you will get 7.8 megahertz that you get into the uh, 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 IF that is going to be detected. The audio is going to get from that signal. Okay, but this is the uh, block diagram. But let me explain something interesting here from the control standpoint, and is that this uh, control lines P0 to P9 is um, is ten uh, They are ten lines, ten control lines, right? You can see it here. But those uh, ten lines are um, in groups of four right so you have a group of four another group of four and and just the reminding which is two right so that is programmed in a in a way that that is called bcd binary code decimal so that means that every group of four define a digit so for instance this is a digital one this is a digital nine and this is a digital zero right so the counter is divided by 91 if it so that means that you can program here the the, the digits for the first uh, decimal digit these four lines define the digit for the second decimal digit and these two define the, the the numbers for the third decimal digit in other words you can the maximum number you can define here is three right because with two lines you can the maximum number you can represent in digital is when this one is one one and one one in digital is three so the maximum number you can get here is three nine nine and the smaller number you can get here is zero right so you can you can go from zero to three ninety one though those are four hundred channels right so um you can see here that um, uh, uh, changing a little bit the 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 the, uh, the 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 previous explanation on how uh, the uh, PLL works, you can say that the n total or total n, right? That this number that you program here is going to be the frequency that you want at the output, right? Minus twenty six dot zero five five multiply by 100 right that is the frequency okay so for instance if you want to run 26965 then this number you need to program here will be 26965 minus uh, 26.055 right so because you just put here the frequency you want to run and then you multiply by 100 by 100 and that is 91 so in this radio to run 26 at to, to transmit and receive at 26965 you need to program here 91 
So this is the control line that has to be here in order to get the frequency 26965. Okay? Perfect. So uh, the key to control the frequency, the key to control the frequency, if we control the BCD, the, the word that goes to the, to the PLL, we can control the frequency that, that the radio is transmitting. So the output frequency will be n total divided by 100 plus 26.05. Please note that this is the uh, same um, the same formula that that I was using here, just just changing uh, 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 terms around, right? Here I'm I'm trying to find the n total or total n. Um, so I need the frequency, frequency that I, frequency that I want, minus 26.055 uh, by 100, and here um, is the opposite. So what frequency will give me, what frequency, what output frequency will give me uh, a, a particular n total or total n? So n total divided by 100 plus 26.055. 055 will give me the frequency, the output frequency. So for instance, if n total is 91, then the, the output frequency will be 91 divided by 100 plus 26.055, that is 26965. Do you get it? Good. Let's continue. So as I was mentioning, the, the PLL that I'm going to use for this modification is the 858C. Uh, that is a Cobra that is used inside a Cobra 138XLR, which is this one, right? That all the components inside the PL, you know now, because I explained it so far, right? This is the PL, uh, 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 D858. This is a Uniden uh, uh, integrated circuit uh, developed in Japan in, in the 70s. And it was very, very, very uh, used. It was used... Uh, uh, um, widely uh, in a, as I mentioned in many radios right so what is our modification proposal what is our modification proposal the idea is to control the pins of the PLL with a microcontroller um, in in um, uh, I'm gonna use uh, as I mentioned a Cobra 138 XLR, but you can use any CB radio. Um, uh, the only thing you need to do is you need to understand how the PLL works and to understand how these uh, uh, lines, the, how these control lines are, are uh, has to be modified to get any particular frequency, right? Again, w not note that I'm I'm mentioned this uh, uh, many times. This is for educational uh, uh, purposes. I am not showing this to go against or violate or or uh, um, the the law in any way. If you use this information to to violate the law, that is your own responsibility. My goal is to let you understand how a PLL works with a basic modification of uh, 138 to go to a legal frequency, not to um, use this information uh, to, to, to go uh, against the law, right? So in other words, for instance, then you will say, why are you showing this if uh, you know uh, anybody can use this uh, to, to work outside the law? Well, you can buy a knife in any supermarket Right, and you and you're supposed to use the knife for for good purposes, but you can use also a knife to to wrong purposes and violate the law. It's the same same case here. I'm showing you how that how a PLL works and how any this all uh, CB radios works. And this concept is actually used in many radios, in even in 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 in, in mobile phones today. But you need to understand that the information I'm giving you, you need to use it uh, uh, inside the law in your uh, respective country because this information is for educational purposes. Okay? Perfect. So, what controller I'm going to use? I'm going to use an Arduino. An Arduino. Arduino Mega. Um, the reason uh, um, is because I, I plan to control 
the Arduino Mega. Uh, I'm planning to con I'm planning to control the, um, the the CB radio, the PLL, the outputs uh, zero to nine, uh, the the inputs of the of the PLL. I mean, uh, from P zero to P nine, with the Arduino Mega, right? So you can say, well, but the Arduino Mega is too big. It's too big, right? It's uh, 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 116 uh, by 59, almost 60 mm. Well, yeah, that's big. So you cannot, uh, you can hardly accommodate that inside the radio. But you can also get a mega uh, uh, from uh, Good Whoops, Go Whoops, actually. Um, that is only uh, 55 mm by 39 mm. This will fit inside the radio with no problem, right? Okay, so I'm gonna make the uh, prototype with this Arduino Mega, the regular one. Um, and um, also I'm gonna get uh, a display. Uh, in this case, I'm using an SD1306 uh, DIY uh, uh, this is called uh, DIY mode 0 0.96 um, and the, the idea with this uh, display this you can you can get all these components in, 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 in Amazon that is where I got it and uh, but there are many many uh, sources of course right and um, um, and then you you have the display right uh, the display uh, has uh, voltage ground and two communication lines and the idea is to show the frequency the, the word frequency and then show the frequency and then the channel right if, if there is a channel so for instance how is this a, a, a frequency meter uh, or a frequency meter no right so how do you know which frequency you are with the radio because I know that uh, uh, what frequency will be the radio transmitting by uh, uh, the word that I'm programming at the PLL so I can know I know exactly what is the frequency that where the radio is transmitting because I know that when the the depending on the n total that I put at the PLL and I'm, I'm defining this uh, from P0 to P9 with the Arduino so you can define the n total um, that uh, and then you know the frequency that the radio uh, is transmitting right okay so then you have a display where you're gonna show this information and then you have a keyboard why a keyboard because you need to define the frequency you, you can program the frequency you can say for instance that this uh, button goes up this button goes down so if you press A the frequency increase by by 10 kilohertz if you press D the frequency decrease by 10 kilohertz uh, if you press B for instance you can go to a particular frequency if you press C you can go to a particular frequency or let's say you can program um, let's say asterisk uh, 27 uh, 225 and then um, this uh, button and then you go directly to that frequency right something like that so the, the key a keyboard is required right so that's why I'm using a keyboard this keyboard uh, is very thin um, it has adhesive and the in the other side so you can you can attach this to the radio at the top cover so it's, it's very convenient right and here is the circuit the schematic that I'm using um, you can see that there is just the Arduino, the keyboard, uh, there is an interface between the Arduino and the pins of the PLL. Uh, can the uh, Arduino fit directly the pins? Mm, yes, but I'm, 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 I prefer to use uh, a buffer uh, to interface between the pins of the uh, Arduino and the pins of the PLL just because it's, it's, it's more expensive the Arduino than a simple buffer and I can replace this very easily so I decided to put uh, that in the middle with a pull down uh, set of uh, resistors okay and then I have the display here and I have a, a, a voltage regulator here I'm gonna go over each one uh, very quickly so 
here is the the uh, regulation, the, the 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 power regulation. So you you get um, thirteen point eight from the radio, right? And then you go to nine point five in this case with a twenty uh, with a with a seventy uh, um, a zero five um, in this configuration where you can change this resistor and you can get a different voltage. Why I'm going to 95 to, to 9.5 and then from 9.5 to 5? Because I can go directly from um, 13.8 to 5, yes. But if I do that, removing this one, the voltage that I'm going to get here between pins 1 and 3 of the 7805 will be higher. So it's going to be 13.8 minus 5 um, and that means the, the the power inside the dissipated power inside the uh, the um, the regulator this is a, a general uh, uh, regulator is 7805 the voltage in in here in, in right because uh, the, the output voltage will be the input minus uh, uh, the voltage that, that you will get here. In other words, if the output is fixed to 5 in, in between these two uh, pins, you will have 13.8 minus 5. That will be uh, what? 9... Uh, uh, like... Uh, well, you can do the, 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 the minus. And then, what I'm trying to say is the higher the voltage here, the, the warmer the... the, the, the um, the warmer the uh, regulator works because um, the uh, the the temperature the temperature inside the regulator is uh, proportional to the uh, power dissipation inside the regulator. So if you use, for instance, if you go directly from uh, 13.8 to to 5, you will get 8 volts here, right? 8 volts here. And I, uh, the current is not too high, but because the 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 the, uh, the voltage here is high, you will get higher dissipation. And as I mentioned, the dissipation is the the temperature at the at the chip at the 7805 is proportional to the to the power dissipation. So if you decrease the voltage, you will increase the dissipation. That's why I decided to do it in two steps. And the reason I put it here variable. Uh, is because I wanted to uh, adjust the frequency to see which ones makes uh, uh, less uh, um, uh, generate less heat at bot uh, 7805. And of course, you have to use uh, um, uh, uh, heatsink in in each one of these ones. Well, you can say, well, could be this uh, improve? Of course, of course. This is just a start point. So you can improve this by, for instance, removing this one, or using only one, and using a transistor uh, to handle the current. And then this way you will get uh, the dissipation at the transistor and not at, at, at this one. Or, or you can use a module to give you to go from uh, all, uh, an already done uh, a module to go from 30.8 to, to 5 that can handle the, the current. Yes, there is some. There are many improves. This is just a just a, just start point okay all right so the Arduino at the Arduino I'm using um, of course uh, 5 volts ground the, um, the 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 lines that goes to the uh, to the um, uh, PLL is uh, the the IO pins right and uh, the communication lines from the Arduino uh, SCL and SDA are used to the display and the keyboard is going here to these lines at the bottom um, the pins are there so essentially uh, that is how that works now the um, uh, the the um, the display is show like um, like here so you can see that um, um, there are the two control lines, the the voltage ground, and that's it, right? And I'm using here a library from 
uh, Adafruit. Uh, that is incredibly useful. So this this is a lifesaver, saver because um, it 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 resolves the problem to control the display. I, I'm just uh, learning how to use the, that library, and and, and 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 my problem is resolved, right? Okay, the keyboard. I'm using the, the keyboard .h that uh, is coming from Arduino LLC to control the the the, this, uh, the, the, the keyboard. The keyboard has uh, columns and rows. Um, so I have, if I press a two, for instance, this line is gonna be uh, 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 is gonna be uh, tied to this line, and and this this library is handle that. So he knows that I'm pressing a two or I'm pressing a D. This line is gonna be connected to this line. So the Arduino is gonna know through this library that I'm pressing a D, and this is how I'm using uh, the the keyboard. Now. The program. What I'm doing with with the program, just just starting, is I'm reading which keyboard has been pressed, right? So, for instance, if I if I say, is is, is have had the A been pressed? Yes. Then go up 10 kilohertz. Has the D been pressed? Then go down 10 kilohertz, right? Is a B uh, has been pressed? then go to this particular frequency. Has a C been pressed, then go to this particular frequency. But if, if it's a number two, then go to this particular frequency. Is a number one, go to this particular frequency. So this is the first thing, the first thing, the loop, because the Arduino, you know that, that the, the Arduino is using a loop, right? So that loop is used at the first, uh, the first thing that you do in that loop is find out which, um, keyboard has been pressed right which 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 key has been pressed at the keyboard okay so next the program with with at this point the program knows what frequency you are and what frequency you're going so is is calculating the the end by the the formula that you know frequency minus 26.05 by 100 that will give you the total n or n total if n total is higher than 399 then it will it will go to the minimum n total which is the n total that give you the frequency the smaller frequency if the n total is less than zero then uh, it will it will make the n total higher the higher one is uh, 399 because that will give you the the higher frequency so in this way in this way what I'm doing is it, when you are going up, 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 if you reach the higher frequency possible when that is when n total is 399, you will automatically start at the minimum frequency. That makes a loop, right? Which is very convenient. So after that, we need to run a, a routine that converts the, the, the n total in BCD uh, and send that to the PLL. So that, that will present the correct digits ones and zeros to control the PLL and um, if the frequency that you are showing at, 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 the, at the pins correspond to a CV channel it will show that in the, at the display and also will show the frequency that, that you are running uh, if that frequency doesn't correspond to any uh, CV channel then you will show instead of saying, for instance, channel eight or channel two, you will say whatever you want. In this case, uh, uh, canal DX or channel DX or DX channel, right? Uh, and then the, the 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 program start all over. What uh, keyboard? What key has been pressed at the? So you can you can change if if there is any. This is the basic uh, uh, flow of the of the loop uh, part of the of the Arduino program. And here is the prototype. You can see I, I put that, as I mentioned, in a in a in a plastic box because uh, this cannot be fit inside the the, 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 the radio. I'm expecting to get um, the smaller uh, Arduino, but not yet he in my hands. So um, I for the prototype I put that into um, 
into a plastic box, right? So the, the, you can see the keyboard. The, the the Arduino is below this this uh, uh, PCB here, and you can see the buffers. You can see the uh, input uh, for the 13.8 volts from the radio. These are the control line that goes to the PLL. This is coming from the keyboard, and these two lines are going to uh, the display, right? Plus the CB. Uh, the voltage lines that go to the display, the the the, the resistor, the pull-down resistor that goes here, and the voltage control of the two uh, 7805, the regulators, right? And um, note that uh, the uh, 7805, uh, the 78, the regulator 7805 <coughs> has not the the heatsink yet installed here, okay? And here is the, the, the plastic box with the display uh, installed in place of the two digits that comes with the uh, Cobra 138XLR. Um, so it's very convenient this kind of display because it fits exactly at the window where, where the channel is shown, right? So um, at this point in this particular case, um, the uh, the uh, prototype is here, right? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is going to be inside the radio. For but for this for this uh, uh, prototype, it's going to be outside because it doesn't fit inside. So you can see the USB uh, port of the uh, Arduino that is used to uh, update the um, the uh, the program at any time. I'm working on that. What next, right? What next? Que sigue? What next? Or well, improve the program, right? Um, um, improve the program in a sense that you, you can, um, uh, for instance, type the frequency directly at the keyboard. That is not done. Um, in, in develop uh, a routine that you can memorize uh, uh, frequencies, so you can define frequencies, uh, memories, right? Uh, and also uh, imp uh, uh, implement the uh, um, the design with the Arduino uh, Mega that is uh, smaller, this one that you can see here that fits inside the radio. And then uh, another another um, possible project is to uh, apply this design to other uh, radios, right? And I'm trying to do here, uh, put all the uh, information here in this, in this um, GitHub uh, page where you can find um, all the uh, information regarding this project. So I hope you um, like this idea. Again, uh, please, um, honestly, my idea with, with this project is not to uh, uh, violate the, lay in, the law in, in any how. It's, it's just by, uh, it's, it's to, the goal is to, to let you understand how a radio works, how a PLL works, and I hope this can be improved. Um, uh, the, the, the program, uh, I use several uh, libraries from uh, Arduino, from uh, um, this other uh, brand that I mentioned, uh, but, but Adafruit. But um, the, the idea, you, you need to understand, I'm not a, a programmer. I'm a, an electronic engineer. So the program can be improved? Absolutely, yes. Um, the, this idea is a star point. It's, it's just a star point. That is what I pretend. I'm not, I'm not pretending this to be uh, uh, the final uh, uh, pro. No, no. This is just a star point, just to show you how interesting is a PLL, how this works, and the, the, the endless possibilities you have with a PLL. So, I hope you enjoy this. And uh, thank you. Please uh, feedback your comments at the, uh, at the at the comments. And uh, thank you very much. This is uh, Francisco Tango India 2 Lima X-ray. Um, thank you very much for your uh, attention.